Hello and welcome to Flashback, a week of look at stories from years gone by. Whenever I think of the opera, I think of those big, giant theaters with the curtains that pull back to reveal someone with an equally big voice. But back in 1997, when the opera came to Kitimat, you got all those things and it was invaded by pirates. Let's take a look at exactly how it all happened as we travel back into our archives to May 1st, 1997. Pirates, maidens, and police were all part of the opera put on by local performers, artists, and musicians. So, what does it take to be a pirate? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. <laughs> you have to be ruthless yeah. to be a pirate. Yes. You have to be a little bit strange to be a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> and you gotta have a good, I don't know. Sense of humor. Sense of humor. It takes a lot of hard work, too. There's an awful lot of work. If you look at the program, we counted up the other day, there's over 100 people that have worked on the sets or have worked on the production in some way or another, and, and that's worked on it. Those are people that have, have made a contribution, not, not, not just carried things for us, but have made contributions. Lead singer and performer Tineke Hovenkamp played Mabel. She's going to the National Festival of the Arts at Powell River at the end of May. Her favorite part? The love scene. <laughs> it's oh. the funniest. It just, it just relaxes me, so. Yes. Yeah. I'd have to go with that, too. Yeah. <laughs> Tickets have been sold out for the play, but because of the success, they may be holding a performance in Terrace in June. Money raised goes to a number of church organizations. Shirley Wyman, First News, Kitimat.